everybody. Today, I want to talk to you about something I've been pondering recently. We have two political parties made up of two groups of people who haven't agreed on a single thing since before 9-11. But there is at least one thing we can all easily agree on. The past couple years have been a total garbage cunt. It has occurred to me that there is another thing we could all agree on, but it may not be so simple. In fact, it's probably impossible. I'm talking about the Ghislaine Maxwell trial. A decision was made to keep the more sensitive information from being seen by the general public. Information like Epstein's customer list. And I think folks on both sides of the aisle would like to review this information. At least those who are not on the list. Now, I know this is a very far-fetched idea, but with reality as wacky as it is today i figure i've got nothing to lose so here goes what if we as americans not as the right not as the left just an enormous group of folks all demanding for the information to be released immediately of course they would say hell fuck no bitch but what if we put all of our other arguments and outrage on hold for just long enough to agree and unite on this one single issue? And then any time a politician or a candidate is speaking, we relentlessly boo them off stage and publicly shame them for speaking of anything other than public discovery and disclosure. And we do it for years if we have to. Look, folks, I understand everybody hates each other now, and we like it that way. I get it. That's one of the reasons the globalists created the culture war in the first place. To get you people at each other's throats. So you will be distracted while they create a new strategy and a new set of rules. And believe me, regardless of which side you're on, you're not going to like the new set of rules. You're soaking in it. And besides, everybody is always complaining about misinformation and conspiracy theories. Well, if our government didn't lie to us and hide things from us, there would be no need for conspiracy theories. These theories have existed for many years. They were never considered a problem until large numbers of people started taking them seriously. If you truly want to make all conspiracy theorists shut up in a hurry, release the data. Let's face it, folks. They don't tell us the truth, and we all know it. The days of the government getting away with lying to its people are over. It just isn't sustainable in a world of internet leaks. That is, without some new set of very rigid rules to abide by. The only thing that stands in the way is our Constitution. Hence all the talk about a Great Reset. It's just a way to finally do away with our rights once and for all. But if we take all the energy we have been putting into being insufferable twats over the past several years and direct it at the politicians, media, and appointed officials, Maybe we can put these fuckers in their place. The alternative is eating bugs. Do you want to eat bugs? Because I don't. So the next time you run into an angry leftist, ignore their insults and ask them how they feel about the totally legal cover-up of the Maxwell trial. You never know. They might just finally be as sick and tired of the bullshit as the rest of us are. Then again, I could be entirely wrong. I'm wrong all the time. The energy epicenter of the world by 2030 will be North America. It will not be Saudi Arabia and the Arabia. It will be North America. We produce more gas and oil than any other country in the world, and we will be energy independent by 2031, and North America will be energy independent by the mid-2020s. Wow. 
What the fuck was that guy smoking? Look, folks, I know this whole thing is a pipe dream, but I think we have to try. It sure beats sitting around, waiting to lose your rights, but I have to go for now. After I coughed on a hot mic the other day. <coughs> Excuse me, a terrible headache. They all think I'm in bed, and, uh, sick with the China virus. Fucking morons. Sorry. <coughs> so good night, everybody, and go fuck yourselves. Wait, not fuck yourselves. Look, what I'm trying to say is. I was gonna put him in. Uh, foot, foot. Excuse me. True international pressure.